Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Andrew Yang, and we're going to talk about Timmy Failure. What is Timmy Failure? Uh, Timmy Failure is a Disney is a brand new Disney Plus movie. It just came out a little while ago, uh, and uh, the full title of the Disney Plus movie is Timmy Failure: Mistakes Were Made. Um, before we go a step further, there are spoilers for the movie Timmy Failure: Mistakes Were Made in this content. All right, let's get moving forward. So the reason why we're going to talk about Disney Plus's Timmy Failure today is this film is a key for understanding Andrew Yang better. Okay, a, a powerful one. It's a powerful key for understanding Andrew Yang. Uh, and I think that's a big deal. I really believe Andrew Yang belongs... There's three people Andrew Yang belongs in the category of. It's George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Andrew Yang. That's this present. That, that's that's where Andrew Yang belongs in American history. Period. End of sentence. This guy is amazing. He has Freedom Dividend. Is the reason why I'm so down with Andrew Yang. Is I think Freedom Dividend want, uh, it is leadership for the world through America, and America has tried to lead the world in a lot of really unproductive ways, but having an incredibly um, powerful economic model. That is so powerful that when it succeeds in America, it can fix nations all over the world where they can just kind of duckling follow us and then half their problems are going to be fixed. Uh, Andrew Yang's idea for Freedom Dividend is so large. I want him to win the presidency so half the nations in the world's economy are fixed, not just America. He, he, what the, the solution he offers is on a scale that is global. And I'm a firm believer in this because I truly believe that the, the president of America is really king or queen of the world. That's the appropriate understanding of president. It, it truly is. Uh, it's it's a video I haven't done. But at some point, we really got to start talking about how, you know, the world is really kind of kept at arm's length about the presidency, about the U.S. presidency. But the U.S. presidency affects 90% of the nations in the world. When we get a new president, that's going to affect 90% of the nations in the world, bar none. Because we're the wealthiest nation in the world, and we're the coolest nation in the world. Like, either you're doing business with us, or you're looking at it over uh, at us and just like admiring us. Like, we, America rocks. It's just it's it's a fact. America is just at a scale that is truly incredible. Okay, this movie Timmy Failure is a powerful, powerful. Uh, it holds some powerful keys for understanding Andrew Yang, and I want to exp explain it, and I want to explore it today. Now, if you're out there and you're going. Scott Garibay, are you talking about uh, are you talking about Andrew Yang and a kids movie that's on Disney Plus? Why are you doing that? Well, if you're asking that question, you're not aware of what refraction journalism is. But that's okay. I got a video on my channel about refraction journalism. The link's below. <laughs> but now I'm going to give you an example of refraction journalism. Let's get into it. All right. So uh, Andrew Yang is just he's incredible, right? And so. I have made a study of him. I am, you know, there are there are topics that I study. I, I keep, you know, I have an information diet the same way I, I watch my physical diet. By the way, I do a much better job with my information diet than I do with my physical diet. <laughs> uh, I would ask you for help out there on my physical diet, but I know I would get fifty different answers, which would not be helpful. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, and uh, yeah, let's keep focused here. All right. So, um, let's talk about Andrew Yang and Timmy Failure. So. What's happening with Andrew Yang right now, right? Well, one of the biggest things that is happening with Andrew Yang right now, and this is very, very apropos to debate number eight, is a label that is that a label that the DNC that all six of the debate seven the debate seven attribute candidates are trying to, and that's Biden, Warren, Sanders, Klobuchar, Buttigieg, Steyer. Okay, all those candidates and from debate seven. One of the most one of the one of the most abyssal sad moments in DNC history. Okay, never should have happened. Debate seven never should have had the structure it had. Um, all they're all so all those candidates, the traditional media, and unfortunately the Democrat voter base right now are all trying to slap a label on Andrew Yang, and that label is other. And they're saying you are other. This happens all the time. There's cliques and groups. And they, you know, they, they keep people at arm's length and they say, you're other, you're other, right? And this film, uh, so let's, let's talk about, so this film, Disney Plus's Timmy Failure, 
first of all, this film is an amazing film. But one of the things it does is it takes a character and it shows you exactly why a character is othered. And it shows you how that character deals with being othered. Okay? Now, the reason why we're talking today is the reasons that Timmy Failure are, is othered are exactly the same reasons Andrew Yang is being othered right now. Okay? All right. Uh, so, so let's talk about this Disney Plus movie. So one, I don't just, I don't pick stuff out of the air to bring to you for refraction journalism, right? It's important that we talk about Disney Plus's Timmy, Timmy Failure. And the reason why is Disney Plus is a huge part of what is going to be Andrew Yang's economic base for America when he is president. The streaming wars are a massive part of American economy, okay? By the way, if you don't know the numbers, uh, Disney Plus started with 10 million subscribers, and right now, they just announced the other day, they are over 25 million subscribers, okay? Now, they are gunning for, they are going straight at Netflix, who has, I think it's over 60 million subs, 60 million subscribers, okay? That is a crap ton of money, Subscri subscription uh, streaming is a huge amount of money, and it is really important to American economy. Donald Trump has spent a ton of time talking about steel tariffs, right? Who cares about steel tariffs? Our real money now is coming from entertainment, okay? And I really want America to start thinking about entertainment as its real export. It's by far our most powerful export. And the streaming wars are a massive part of our economy. And Disney Plus is a massive part of our economy. And one of the things that Disney Plus is struggling with right now is getting new, good content. Now, what is good and new on Disney Plus? Well, I'll tell you what's good. The Mandalorian, it broke every record for, like, streaming, like, ever. It's so one of the top streaming shows in history, okay? And Timmy Failure, I don't think I don't think Timmy Failure is going to get a million, ton of views, okay? Timmy Failure is absolutely brilliant art. Timmy Failure is a absolutely gorgeous Oscar worthy level film masquerading as a child's film it is deeply philosophical it has unbelievable use of language okay uh, it's an incredibly intellectual film um, and it is powerful I watched it with my whole family we thought it was just gonna be kind of a kids movie it is it is a deeply philosophical truly enlightening film masquerading as a child's movie okay fantastic piece of art amazing okay it's about this young boy he is a fifth grader who lives in portland and he runs his own detective agency okay he is incredibly intelligent oh who do we know who's incredibly intelligent andrew yang he has a height issue he is shorter than the people he is trying to to be considered equal with his equals his primary competitors within his grade. So he's shorter, and that, that, that is a disadvantage, okay? And actually, it's something that people are using to other him, the fact that he is shorter. Andrew Yang, right? He is struggling to get as much attention and time and, you know, uh, and, and fair results as Biden and Sanders, who are both six feet tall, and Andrew Yang is not. And if you don't think height is, an, is important in American history, you just need to do a little bit of research because it is massively important. And there is a very strong relationship with height and who has been elected as president. It is not a small relationship. It's a very strongly braided relationship. I think the reason for that is I think people who like Jane Austen novels give a lot of goodwill toward people who are tall. Okay, I think people, and then adversely... I think people who like Tom Clancy novels give a lot of goodwill to people who have lower weights, which both of those stances are utterly ridiculous, but they are a powerful force in American politics. And no two ways about it, in an American life overall. And, they, and, and, and that influence does not stop in politics. Height is a big deal in politics. Timmy Failure deals with this. It, it goes into how his height is an issue and people are othering him over it. And I, I think it's part of why Yang is being othered, is his height. It's, it's a problem, okay? It's something he needs to work past, right? Yang. And Timmy has to in the film as well. Timmy sh displays bald ambition. And people other him for it. Yang displays bald ambition. And people have othered him for it. There have been 
major news sources, national newspapers, right? Major news sources were like, who's this person just coming out of the, you know, out of the woodwork and um, just an average person, just an entrepreneur, just a business person who's running for president? How outrageous. Trying to other him like he doesn't, like he shouldn't be able to run for president because he hasn't been a politician for 30 years. It's utterly absurd. Same thing here. T Timmy, you know, Timmy is a middle schooler trying to run a detective agency. And people are saying, oh, you can't do that, Timmy. You're just a middle schooler, right? People are othering him, saying, you can't do this because we don't expect you to be able to, right? You don't fit our expectation of what a what a detective is. It, it's, it's amazing. Like, Timmy Failure is a, it's a mirror for Andrew Yang. It's incredible, right? All right. Last, Timmy, uh, Timmy Failure, he has singular sight. He sees he sees something that only he sees and that other people don't. And then he talks to about two people about this thing he sees and they're like, mm, I don't understand. I don't see the same issue you see, right? I don't see the thing you see." Okay? What is that thing? Well, for Timmy Failure, it is a polar bear. Timmy Failure has a partner in his detective agency named Total. Uh, and the polar bear is named Total and he is Timmy's partner. Only Timmy can see Total, uh, and he's the only one who can see this polar bear. Now, the polar bear is in the film, and we can see him as a viewer, and it's awesome. It makes the movie incredibly good, and, and you know, it's like the hot sauce on a taco. It just makes it so much better. It's amazing, okay? All right, so it, it, you, you got to see this movie. It's so good. It's, it's one of the, it is the second best thing on Disney+, Plus, without a doubt. Mandalorian and then Timmy Failure. Done. Amazing stuff, okay? Now, let's get into each one of these, okay? Uh, let's talk about incredible intelligence, right? In the, in the film, it shows Timmy Failure, he doesn't say yes or no. He says affirmative negative. People are like, what? You know, um, he's he's a middle schooler. I, I'm sorry, he's not even a middle schooler. He's an elementary school kid trying to run a Portland detective agency. And he's doing that because he's incredibly intelligent. He's like, I can solve a mystery. It, it doesn't take degrees and licenses from a police department, I could do that, right? You know, or, or some organization, right? So he's incredibly intelligent. And then last, he spends almost all his time at the library reading and learning, okay? And people other him for this, right? They, he uses big words and he pays attention to data, right? And people other him. They're like, they push him off to the side and they're like, Timmy, you're so different. You're so weird. And it's the same thing with Yang, right? I remember so clearly this thing with... Elizabeth Warren is like, what are you talking about with all these numbers? I'll have to look at the numbers myself. I, I haven't I haven't re what, read all the spreadsheets and everything you have. Acting like Andrew Yang's the only one, you know, digging deep into the data. And the fact that he he read data she didn't on a subject that she didn't, he should be othered. Right? And you, boy, if you think I'm wrong about othering, look at Debate 8. And you will see just a whole bunch of six six little click uh, politicians and one five politicians and one billionaire that they've decided to include because he's debate seven attribute, and you'll see one person, you know, just Timmy Failure, othered over on the side, ignored by the questioners, ignored by the media, ignored by the candidates, ignored by the DNC, ignored by the Democrat voter base, ignored, 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 because his intelligence is so far above, it seems shockingly strange to the rest of them. And they're not wrong. Andrew Yang is six levels more smart than any of them. They are not in his league. It is it is a little strange. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a problem that we have. Yang is thinking on a different level. And when you bring him to normal people, right? And I, I don't even want to say normal people. When you bring him to most people... It looks shocking. It looks different. And it might even look a little alien. Okay? we it, It's an issue we need to deal with, right? And I think Yang is aware of it, and we're trying to get through it, right? But Yang's incredible intelligence has been used to other him, exactly like, like Timmy Failure. All right. The height issue. Andrew Yang is 5'11". Biden and Sanders are 6 feet even. It's been used to other him. And, and I think, just like in every single election since the beginning of this nation... Deference has been given to height. It's not stopped now. And Yang is, he's being othered because of his height and it needs to stop. And, it, and it's exactly like was shown 
in this in this film. Bald ambition. Uh, he's a fifth grader trying to run a detective agency, and you know, and and people are saying you can't do that, and he's saying yes, I can. And you know, and Andrew Yang I, I, was one of the major news sources. Was like, hey, Andrew Yang, you're just an entrepreneur. You're just a, you're just an American worker bee, right? How dare you run for president? And he's like, no, the president's for anybody who anybody who qualifies can run. You don't need to be a politician to be president. And he's right. You just need to be a strong leader. Totally agree. And he should not be othered. Exactly the way Timmy failure should not have been othered in this film. And last is that singular sight. You know, um, Timmy saw this polar bear. Andrew Yang sees the automation threat. He's the only one who saw the automation threat. He saw it 10 years ago. And, uh, and two years after he saw it, he started writing a book. And he wrote a book about it. And then his book came out. And people were like, oh, this guy's talking about an automation threat. And not only is he talking about the automation threat, but he has the solution. And he's the only one who sees the scope of this. And he talks about it, and people are like, I don't see an automation problem. Uh, you know, like, and they don't, they don't get it. Exactly the way Elizabeth, yeah, Elizabeth Warren in one of the baits was like, I don't see the problem is at the scale you're saying. She couldn't see the polar bear. Only Yang sees this polar bear. And, you know, and, it, you, and because he has a singular sight, because he sees something that other people aren't seeing, he's being othered. Right? Now, what does the film Timmy Failure show us is the solution? Right? I wouldn't point you to this film. It was just some sad sack who had all this othering done to him and never gets past it. Well, it shows how Timmy gets past this. Two words. Persistence. And, by the way, when I do this, and I say two, I do this all the time. My wife will say, you have four fingers up. <laughs> two, persistence and ad 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 adaptation, okay? Andrew Yang needs to persist. He's got that down. He is persisting. Andrew Yang has not quit. Beto O'Rourke quit. Gillibrand quit. Kamala Harris quit, right? Uh, just Delaney just dropped, all these other characters did not have, all these other politicians, governors, senators, congress people, did not have the wherewithal of Mr. Yang. Did you hear the other night in, in Debate 8 how they called him Mr. Yang? Very, very dismissive, right? And they're right. He's just Mr. Yang. He doesn't have senator in front of his name or former VP or former, uh, you know, or... Um, or billionaire in front of his name, but you could lump all six of them together, and and their nobility doesn't match a fraction of his. Their intelligence doesn't match a fraction of his. He's a greater person than them all combined. And and the reality is, we are now in a day when we are realizing that these these labels that used to have value don't have value anymore. They're ta they're New York Cal they're New York taxi ca taxi cab medallions in an Uber world. They're worthless. And the real value is with true leaders, true innovators, true thinkers like Andrew Yang. He is truly incredible. He is persisting and he will go the distance. Adaptation. In the film, Timmy, a lot of his problems for othering were caused by people othering him for these other reasons. Some of his problems were caused by himself. They show that in the film, and he had to adapt and make himself better where he got things wrong. I think Andrew Yang's got a few things wrong. You know what he's got dead on right? He's got dead on right Freedom Dividend, his nuclear energy to create to better us um, for, for climate activism. Great idea. Democracy dollars, great idea. Bad ideas, his stance on 420, his non-interventionism, and the life skills education. I disagree with all of those, right? He needs to adapt and get better policies on a small margin of a few of his policies. He's not perfect. Andrew Yang is still a human being, and he needs to adapt. And I know that because I watched Timmy Failure, and it shows a mirror image of Andrew Yang in that film. But it also shows exactly how you can persist and adapt to beat the attempts to other, uh, the attempts of people to unfairly other you. And I think just like Timmy Failure beat the attempts for him to, for others to beat the attempts for people to other him, Andrew Yang is going to beat the attempts for other pe for people to other him as well. And he's going to go straight to the White House. All that is my opinion. I'd love to hear your opinion. If you've seen the film, let me know what you think. 
If you haven't seen the film, I encourage you to go see it or talk to your wonderful your friends that has Disney Plus and ask them to invite you over. Um, and if you haven't seen the film also, have you ever seen a polar bear? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.